CRM is a critical source of information, but one super important piece of information that frequently don't sit in your CRM uh, sales and marketing systems is contract data. And so you think about what you're trying to do in sales and it's like sign up contracts, right? But the actual details of those contracts that you sign up really, really, really matter. So, uh, and they can matter when things are good and they can matter when things are bad. So here we sit and inflation's a big thing. Like there are contracts that have price adjustment clauses in them. There are contracts that have inflation adjustment clauses. Wouldn't it be nice to know <laughs> which, of the, which of your contracts have those types of details? Uh, another area where this becomes really important is when things go bad in the economy and or customer relationships go bad and you need to know which your contracts can be terminated for convenience or what happens if your counterparty terminates a contract um, or which of them on the flip side have auto renewal in them. Um, another situation that comes up that's super CRM relevant is which your contracts have uh, publicity restrictions in them or which ones on the converse have promised to give you case studies or customer testimonials. Uh, just finding those out or whose logos can you use on your website. Um, do any of your contracts have like gifting restrictions? At our previous company, we had all sorts of pain where our ops uh, group was rightly saying, you know, some of our contracts have provisions in them that restrict our ability to give gifts to our clients. And so like, if you feel like sending them a bottle of wine for a wine tasting event, like we may not be able to do that unless we check through all our contracts. So these things come up every day for sales and marketing leaders. And knowing what the contracts actually say is a critical part of just serving your clients well. And if that information is in the CRM itself, it can be really helpful. So getting it into the CRM, not that hard. You can take a product like Doc AI, an embeddable contracts AI, plug it into the CRM and have it auto-populate data from contracts um, that on the data points that you care about, things like I've mentioned, like termination or price increase or when the renewal date is or publicity clauses. Uh, you can have all that plug in immediately and that means the users of the CRM can just be more squared away with what the contracts actually say on these super critical data points.